slash storage video and it's going to be a talk through video usually the collection or makeup tours that I've done before aka beauty tours I've kind of just given you like a brief overview of what I have and I've never really talked about it but lots of you lots of you lots of you have asked for this video over and over so I'm gonna do a talk through of all my makeup the storage containers that I have where my vanities from little inserts in my drawer and all things like that I was collecting makeup before I started doing YouTube but it has grown and I recently just threw a ton of stuff away I went through a couple weeks ago and got rid of so much stuff so basically all the makeup I have now just lives right over there if you want to sit through this long makeup collection storage video then just keep watching the video so I hope you guys enjoy and until next time I will talk to you guys soon bye <clears throat> Okay, so we're going to start on the left side first. So lots of people always ask where these acrylic cases are from. And this is actually two different pieces. And this set is from Muji. So this is the two drawer set and this is the five drawer set. The two drawer sets are wider than the five drawers. The five drawers are actually really, really skinny. So this is what this one looks like on its own, not attached to the other one. And there's two different kinds of two drawer ones. I got the one that had the top lift like this because I did have different stuff in it until just recently. And then the one underneath is just the five drawers and you can see how slim those drawers look. And then this piece I get asked a lot where it's from, my lipstick holder. And I actually got this from Love Melissa Michelle in our swap video. And I believe that she got this on Amazon. I'm not positive. So we're going to get a little more in depth since lots of people want to know. But we'll start on the lipsticks up here. Mostly I have in the front row, these are all Max, And then these are two Lime Crime. This is Viva Glam Nikki. And this is Max Pink Friday. This was limited edition. I don't think that you can get this anymore. This is Rebel, another favorite. Diva. Ruby Woo, which is like a really nice true red. I'm not going to go through all of them. I'm just doing this front row. This is a Cream Sheen Lickable. And I got this in a MAC Holiday kit along with a... Um, a lip glass and a lip liner so I don't think that you can find those and it's really like a sheer color anyway and then these are the two Lime Crime lipsticks I had in my haul video one's red and one is black Eek. and then in the back row I have mainly all Maybelline lipsticks um, there's a YSL in here that M Love Melissa Michelle got me and it's number seven it's like a baby pink color and then these are a few CoverGirl but the rest of them are mainly Maybelline lipsticks because I'm obsessed with those there's a few red in there too, but it's mainly pinks and purples. <laughs> and then in this top drawer, I mainly just keep um, the rest of my drugstore lipsticks, except for this bottom row. This bottom row is like all Tarte lipsticks. Um, and then these are all Revlons. In the back, we have a little bit of L'Oreal, some Elf, um, some NYX, Eve Pearl, and that looks like it's it back there. And then this is like a sleek like lip polish thing. This next drawer, I keep all my lip liners in. NYX lip liners in here. There's some MAC ones down here. Um, just some lip glosses, NARS, a MAC cream sheen. There's some NYX jumbo, jumbo, <laughs> mega shine glosses. Um, some Revlon just fit in, some Sephora glosses. So just mainly lip liners and glosses in this drawer. So the cool thing about the Muji drawers is that you can pull them completely out. 
onto the five drawers. This top one, I mainly just keep brushes in. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> I just mainly keep eye brushes in here that I don't want to put over there with the other ones. These are the newer ones. Uh, the Sedona Lace Collection back here. There's some Sigma in here. And then, of course, the Real Technique brushes on the side over there. Then in this drawer, I keep my most used palettes, and there's some little eye primers over here, the Urban Decay Primer Potion and the Lorac. They're all like nude palettes, too. This is the Sleek Nude Collection palette, which just looks like this. The Lorac Pro palette. The original Naked palette, which if you don't know the story behind my Naked palette, um, my boyfriend's dog, when we were at his mom's house, chewed my palette. But it didn't ruin really any of the shadows. I don't really, I've never really used these two darker ones. So they got a little messed up, but I was like, I waited so long for this palette and I did not want to throw it away. You can see that Virgin is completely bit the bullet. How attractive is that? <laughs> the Naked 2 palette. Any neutral shadow that you could ever want is basically right here in this little drawer. And then this drawer is primers, primer, primer, shine killer. This is a redness color corrector, steel BB cream, priming moisturizing treatment, Eve Pearl anti-shine treatment, and then the Makeup Forever HD primer. This next one is kind of a little random drawer. NARS Laguna Neutrogena Shine Control Powder, and then in here I have my eyebrow stuff, which is kind of over here, um, some jumbo pencils, and then these are all kind of eyeliners, liquid liners, felt tip liners, uh, coal liner, sugar lip treatment, my pencil sharpener, and then a spoolie eyebrow brush, because my eyebrow stuff is in here. Then, this last drawer is where we keep mascaras and colored eyeliners. So, these are all my mascaras. Need to get a new one of this one stat. That's why I keep it open like this so it dries even faster than it was and it forces me to buy a new one. <laughs> so these are my five that I regularly use, which is L'Oreal Voluminous, Rimmel Lash Accelerator, Power Volume, Mega Plush, and then Colossal Volume. And then I just have a Dior show over here, which I don't really use too often, and then just a purple mascara, which is Great Lash, Clear Brow Gel, a bunch of sparkly eyeliners, and just colorful eyeliners. Blue ones down here, gold. These are just the Revlon Color Stay Whip Foundation. I have 320 and 370. And then back there is just a L'Oreal Lumi. L'Oreal Lumi in W6, and then this is a True Match in Suntan W5.5. I picked this up because I originally thought it was going to be lighter than W6 because it was a lower number, but it actually turned out to be way darker than W6, so he kind of just hangs out back there when I'm a little tanner. I mix him in with W6. A lot of people ask where I get this, got this mirror from, and I think this mirror was actually from Ross. Then I just keep my setting sprays right here. This is Model in a Bottle, and then this is Scandinavia Makeup Finishing Spray. Then moving on to brushes. So this container I actually got from the dollar store. Um, they have lots of different shapes. I also got this skinnier one from the dollar store as well. And then inside, it's like sand. I got it from Michaels, I believe. I just keep my face brushes in here, mainly bigger sized brushes. Um, I have a bunch of Real Technique brushes you guys just saw. This is my favorite contour brush. It's from Sedona Lace. Lots of people ask where this large fan brush is from, and it's actually from Sedona Lace as well. I haven't really um, experimented with the Real Technique brushes because I haven't had them for that long. The only one that I have used is this one, which is the contour brush. Go figure. <laughs> So in this tin, or in this glass jar, I just have shadow brushes that I kind of use on the regular and aren't so much newer ones like that were in the other drawer. These are my concealer brushes that I use on the regular. They're just the Sigma P80 and P82 brush, which are just like precision brushes. This is like my go-to fluffy brush. It's from BH Cosmetics. I love this flat top one for putting on glitter or anything like that. It's just perfect. There's actually glitter in it now. I'm not sure the name of it because... This is an old set from Sedona Lace, and they didn't put the names on them before. And then in the front, I just usually keep tweezers and nail clippers if I should need them. I forgot to mention them because they were laying down, but these are two of my most used brushes. This is the Real Technique Stippling Brush and then the Real Technique Powder Brush. Can't live without these.
they live here. Moving on to this acrylic drawer. This is a completely different one than the Muji one. This is actually the original beauty box. And I wish I would have found this before. I'm going to put these rings on that are up here. <laughs> And I wish I would have found this before I actually found the Muji drawers, just because this is one unit, it's one big piece. The top doesn't open, it's just a little drawers. But I wish I would have found this one first, because as you can see, the drawers are much larger. I mean, there are OPI nail polishes down there. So we're going to move on to this, but I just wanted to let you guys know that I do prefer this one over my Muji drawers, just because it is so much bigger and you can fit lots more stuff in these big drawers. I do like the Muji's. I just like this one better. <laughs> so, and these drawers do come completely out as well, so if you wanted to just take them and set them down while you're doing your makeup, or if you had to go to another room, you could just easily pick these up and carry. So in here I have my balm. This is a highlighter and a bronzer. This is MAC MSF. I forget which one it is. This is Perfect Topping, which I don't even know if they make anymore. Um, Duo Matte Powder, Mineralized Skin Finish in Medium Deep, and then Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Bronzer in Milk Chocolate. And then these drawers, you can see how deep they are. You can fit more stuff in them than you can the Muji drawers. I'll just show you a little comparison. Can you see that? So much bigger. In this drawer, on this side, I have just some NYX roll-on glitters. It's basically kind of just a hodgepodge of stuff. Um, a little MAC quad, which is super similar to this Maybelline Eye Studio quad. These are just cream shadows by NYX. Makeup Forever Hula Diamond Powder, which I will be doing a tutorial with. Lots of you guys asked for a look like from the giveaway video. This is just an e.l.f. pigment eyeshadow, and then these are two Sugar Pill Loose Pigment Eyeshadows, which are just gold and silver. Then in this drawer, obviously, this is Hula Bronzer and Coralista Blush. I have to turn this down to show you guys everything else that's in here. And then in the back here, I have just a bunch of sleek makeup. This is the Suede Effect Powder and then the Luminesce Press Powder. And then I have a bunch of blushes from Sleek. Oh, I'll show you this first. This is a Molten Metal Metallic Eyeshadow Duo, which just looks like that cream shadows. I have a bunch of sleek blushes here. I'll show you guys them if I can get them opened. Pomegranate, which is like a nice pinky color. Coral. I have pixie pink. Suede. And then this is Aruba. I know, right? It's orange. I didn't know it was this color when I got it. <laughs> and then under here, this is just a concealer and corrector palette that I've never really used, but he's just hanging in there waiting for his time to shine. This is a sleek face and contour kit, which I love these. And this one is in the shade medium. I believe they have fair, medium, and dark, but I could be wrong. And then this is the sleek contouring and... What is this? Contouring and Blush Palette. Ooh. That is everything that is in these drawers. This is like a little puzzle to put back together when I want to get something out. Then this bottom drawer mainly is concealers on this side. There's um, some Dream Lumi, some Tarte, some Hard Candy Glamouflage. These are some more sleek cosmetics concealers. It's called Hide It. Um, some Erase Paste Eve Pearl products. And then on this side is mainly like eyelashes. There's some more concealer. Duotone Lash Blue, more concealer. And the NYX Curve Liquid Liner, which I still haven't tried. I found it the other day in my drawer when I was cleaning everything out, so I put it in here so I could remind myself to use it. And then right here are just some little Eve Pearl palettes that I have. a bronzing and highlighting trio and then the chroma lashes which just are amazing in this bottom drawer I just have a bunch of polishes that used to be like sitting right here on my vanity because I don't have any more room on my polish racks so I'm so happy that these fit because it just takes the clutter off my vanity so I have Sixteen polishes in here, a nail buffer, and a little coconut oil. Right? Mango oil. Just kidding. 
So I just have a few OPIs in the front, uh, Ill Mask polish, and then all the ones in the back are just the L'Oreal polishes. I don't, I don't think they have a name. And on this other side here, I just have two L'Oreal True Matches. This one is an N8 Cappuccino, and this one is in W6 Sun Beige, which is obviously my color. Not my color, but used it sometimes when I want to do a little liquid contouring instead of powder. <laughs> I have two powders in here. I have my Ben Nye Banana Powder and then my Ben Nye Neutral Set Powder, which is basically just like a translucent white powder is situation. I also have some backup setting sprays in here, mini size and Urban Decay, oh, an Urban Decay, an oh, Urban Decay D Slick and Makeup Forever Mist and Fix. Laura Geller Balance and Bronze is in here, and then in the back there, there's some color tattoos. I have bold gold, painted purple, and tough as taupe. So. And then back in the back are just these kind of small little NYX glitters. There's four back there, just two silvers, a gold, and kind of like an iridescent. If you want to see what they look like, watch my haul video. <laughs> so that's everything that are in these drawers. But it all fits. <laughs> So again, this is the original beauty box, and then these are the Muji drawers. This vanity is actually from Ikea, and it's called the Mom Vanity Dressing Table. Um, some Ikeas don't have them, and they only come in white now. In my Ikea, it didn't even have it on the floor. I just found it on the website and was able to locate it in the warehouse. So check your Ikea. You can check the website for the Mom Dressing Vanity and the Ikea will let you know if it's in stock at your store or not. Okay, so starting in the drawers, this is the only thing that's bad about these Ikea mom, mom dressing table is that the drawer doesn't really pull out that far, so I kind of have a lot of room back here, but you're not able to see it. So I try to keep everything forward so that I'm not misplacing things. So inside here I just have these plastic inserts that I found at Bed Bath & Beyond in the kitchen section and they were relatively inexpensive but these are just two one size like this. So this is kind of just a junk drawer. There's like scissors in here, my eyelash curler, backup bronzers, there's like jumbo pencils in here, that chroma lip um, gloss that I just used the other day. I don't know how I feel about it because it smells. <laughs> Some lip balms, a nail file, uh, some argan balm, and a pencil sharpener. Onto this next one, I just keep kind of backup lip glosses and stuff in here. I just have some sleek lip glosses, some Eve Pearl BH Cosmetics Revlon, there's some more chapstick and an eyeshadow base hanging out in there, and then these are just little, they're called paint pouts, I'm sorry, pout paints. <laughs> And they're kind of similar to OCC's lip tars is what I've been told. So those are them. This insert is a little bigger, but it again is from Bed Bath & Beyond and it's a four sectional little situation. So in here I just got some e.l.f. Body Glow. There's some blush in here, some MAC Cream Blushes, a NYX HD Photogenic foundation which I've never tried, some bronzers, some more concealers are hidden back there, and some more NYX foundations are in here. And then in this drawer I just mainly keep like dual ended brushes that I don't want to stick up there in the sand. <laughs> and then on this side, I keep my palettes in here. Um, blush palette, this is a contour palette, 20 eyeshadow palette, neutral colors. This is a 28 neutral eyeshadow as well. It just doesn't have any names on it. This is a 28 color blush palette all the way at the bottom. Um, the Chroma Mascara, just hanging out, waiting to be used. There's the day and night palettes in here. Uh, the Camouflage Concealer palette. <laughs> and a 60 sip, 66 lip gloss palette is under there as well. And in the back, yeah, there's more. Um, this is my like first MAC palette ever, and it's like beat up, as you can see. You can see that I was totally used to be into really bright eyeshadows, and then I kind of just got over it. <laughs> and then also, this is just a cream palette. This is mainly for more like face painting and stuff. 
Um, but this is by Ben Nye as well. But like I said, it's mainly for like face painting. The Jenny Rivera palette is back there, and as well as the BH Cosmetics Party Girl palette. But they weigh in the back. So it's nice that the drawers do fit this many palettes. Because we know I need the room. I like them a certain way. And then lastly, in this corner over here, I just keep sponges, my beauty blender, which clearly needs to be washed. Um, this is the box that I use for my Ben Nye banana powder. There's a bunch of false lashes back here, some hair clips. Brushes that I don't really use are kind of down here in this drawer. And some glue sticks and a... This is just a spatula and little like mixing board if you needed to mix anything. Those are under there. But other than that, that's complete. I do have like makeup and stuff stored in these things, but it's really makeup that I don't ever use, so we're not even gonna go. Love again.